Today I want to see what I can sell my old iPhone for by scraping a classified listing. I'll start an agent from the search results page, then create a list of items. I'll just name it items. And I'll add their prices. Now when I save this, I'm going to refine it by highlighting the extracted results that I want. Because I just want to deal in whole dollars, I'll just select the 330, hit save, and there you see the data is coming in how I want it. I'm going to add a column for the seller's location. And finally, I'll grab the time listed as well. Again, I'm going to refine the data to just what I want by highlighting it and hitting save. There you can see my data being populated. I'll test the agent. And when I hit start, you'll see the data coming in. But notice it's only pulling the results from the first page. So let me pull this down for a second and show you a little better how I can get to subsequent pages. I'll click next and create a list pager from this page. When I hit OK, I'll test it one more time and you'll see this time when I test it, it's going to pull data at the bottom. You see it coming in. It goes to the next page, pulls the data, and continues to hit next, 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 and pulls the data results. I'll hit stop so we can actually save this agent and run it in the web console. I'll name it iPhone Search. And when I hit run now, it'll queue for just a couple of seconds and start running. Now you'll see the data coming in. Let me show you a few more results per page. And there you have it, there's the data. Now I could publish it, I could export it. Um, I'm going to throw it on a schedule here. And you can see you can do it on whatever interval you want. I'll just leave it at hourly. And we are done.